Now, another problem we have with the web as it is today is that it has become common for websites to send software to run in users' browsers. The World Wide Web originally operated by transmitting declarative data to a browser. And the browser would then, uh, I can't remember the word, uh, render that data as some sort of picture on the screen. And the browser would do this according to code that runs in the user's machine. So once there was a free browser, users could control how that data would be rendered. The web was designed to let users control how that data would be rendered. But businesses didn't like that. Businesses wanted to be able to control how their pages would look to users. And they, they redesigned things to give the business more and more say in how its pages would look when rendered by a user. Well, to some extent, it's optional. As long as it was only CSS, you could turn it off, you could delete it, various things. Ultimately, you were not under the business's control. But with JavaScript, it's much worse. JavaScript, as it's normally used, is a program sent by a business or other organization to your computer to run there. And practically speaking, it's very hard for you to be able to change it. Uh, there are ways. It's a kludge, though. And you could hardly ever have the time to study these sometimes very large programs that so many different websites send you. And you may look at that site only for a few minutes, and then you're looking at something else. No one can feasibly look at these, and there's no easy way to distribute to people recommended changes. And you don't normally get this real source code either. You get uh, obfuscated code, or you get uh, compiled uh, code in the form of uh, assembler language, or just numbers. This is no good. We need to go back to a system more like the original web, where what you get sent is declarative data, which is then realized as standard kinds of behavior, so that normally websites can work without any specific JavaScript code. This means we have to come up with general constructs that can be combined to get a lot of useful results. Something like the 1990s windowing toolkits. You combine those and you can get the behavior you want and it will display reasonably fast, but always using code that is part of the system you installed. And so we could build up a, a suitable library of general constructs with various parameters to be set for each one each time it's used. And out of those, you could build your web page. It would do the specific things it's supposed to do, but the thousands of web pages you would look at would be using a finite list of general constructs that could be developed and maintained as free software. And that would, whose community verification and maintenance would give you a reason to trust it. And this way, we would have much less malware in the world's websites.
decentralized, the decentralized web, if it is to be for everyone, must make web pages accessible to everyone, including stalwarts like me who don't run non-free JavaScript code. So one thing you've got to do for a world like this that everyone can participate in is to make sure your websites are accessible without running non-free JavaScript, and ideally accessible without running non-standard constructs so that your system could include implementations of. <clears throat> when I first look at, uh, looked at uh, the website of this event, I couldn't see most of it because it wouldn't display much without running non-free JavaScript. I think that that was fixed because later on I could see most of the site. This should be a criterion we make sure we fully follow. And you have to wor watch out for making a website use another website to do part of the job because you could make all of your JavaScript code free and forget to check whether the other website's code is free. And uh, the solution for this is to try browsing the site with LibreJS enabled, which will tell you if there, and block, tell you about and block any non-free JavaScript. That way you can make sure you've made your website fully accessible to stalwarts, freedom-defending stalwarts. <clears throat>